Hi, this video is showing the 1990 325i for sale. It's on eBay and Craigslist, at least as of uh, March 17th. So let me take you around the vehicle a little bit. As I said in the ad, it's far from perfect. There's a dent here. Most of the panels have either faded paint or a couple dents. There's a not so good dent here. Uh, the hood has various dents in it. I don't know if you can see maybe a few of them. And there's been some paint work here to uh, kind of protect the nose a little bit. And the previous owner had painted the fenders. They're a little orange peely, but they're okay. The vehicle is basically rust free, which is nice. Um, that was a nice plus when I found the car originally in Pennsylvania. Somehow it avoided all the salt and snow there. Around the back of the car, paint is somewhat faded on the trunk lid. It needs a good buff or maybe even a respray. Uh, I'd like to keep this for my next E30, so that's not included. Uh, the wheels, they're 16x8 XXR 531s. They are included. I believe the offset is plus zero. There's a wonderful sounding Super Sprint exhaust. That's a quality item that I enjoy. And an M Tech, sorry, not an M Tech, an E28 Sport Wing on the back. Roof was covered up with vinyl wrap. Um, it was in, the, in very bad condition, the paint, so I just put some vinyl wrap on there to protect it. Interior. Interior is very nice. It's nicer than the exterior. Um, the M Tech 2 wheel, I'd prefer to keep this and put the stock airbag wheel in there, but that can be negotiated if you really want that wheel. It is the rarer, smaller, 370 millimeter diameter uh, version. These beautiful black leather seats, they're in great shape. I got these out of a parts car. Note that uh, this is a passenger seat. You can tell because the handles are on the opposite side. Um, but they're both in really good shape. So, Back seat is an unusually, uh, for this car at least, rare um, headrest unit with the ski pass-through, although the car did not originally come with the ski pass-through. I really like how those seats look and function, so I installed that as well. Sunroof is a manual hand crank, and dashboard is crack-free, as you can see. Here's the view from the driver's seat. And the head unit works well. Every so often, like once a month, you'll hit a bump and it'll crash. Uh, it'll uh, shut down for a second, but it generally works really well. AC sensor knob, I'd like to keep that as well, but if you really want it, we can work something out, I'm sure. Aftermarket leather shift boot and E36 handbrake shift boot or handbrake boot. Uh, let me get some more light in here with the sunroof. You can see the interior a little better. <clears throat> the original interior color was tan and I swapped it out for black with the gray carpet as correct uh, from the factory. Other side of the car looks basically the same as this side. Um, same orange peely front fenders and a dent here and there but uh, nothing Nothing worse than the uh, than the site I showed you. Any questions? Let me know. My name is JD. Thanks.